Hi Leo, it's Joe from Angels and Ancestors and Darlings. This is your What the Fuck reading 8th to the 13th of March. We're back on um, the normal rota. Um, I did fluff up a little bit. I put Aries up before I put Libra and Gemini up. I have no idea why. Um, but obviously something was telling me that I needed to get that reading done and out of the way. Um, yeah, so... I'm now at an hour of processing. Yes. So, yeah, uploads are only taking an hour, which I'm eternally grateful for. Um, law of Attraction readings are going to be late. I've had so much to do. And what with everything taking 18 hours to upload, I thought there is no way I'm doing a 40-minute video because it's going to take, like, two days to get it uploaded so what i'm going to do is i will do them over the next few nights earth air fire and water they will go up the first week in march um, but i am going to have to even the videos that are going up in that an hour um will take a couple of hours so i will do them overnight for you um so my darlings let's get on with your reading leo you have got number 51, stars in the sky, limitless possibilities. Look at that beautiful creature sitting on the top. I can't work out if that is a bridge or whether it is a ruin. But you're sitting there with you in the yoga, meditation pose and your connection to the universe, to the quantum field even is just immense it really is you've put a lot of practice into this you if you are lucky enough as i am to be able to walk out of your back door and see the stars in the sky go and have a look because what they're saying to you is is as many stars as in that sky that you can see that is the possibilities that you have got coming towards you now if you break the 51 down add it together you've got a number six um number six is all about giving of yourself and it could be that you are just in this fantastic place where you are able to give of yourself spiritually to the quantum field and then bring the healing back down to yourself and open yourself up for these fantastic possibilities that are definitely coming your way nice so what started your what the fuck for leo please for this week facing your fears and taking your power back leo Manifestation and wish fulfillment. Movement journey, that came out really quickly. What can you do about this situation? is out of your hands my darlings okay what's the universe dealing with for you i have a reconnection card for leo please your outcome my darlings oh nice so what started your what the fuck this week leo okay darlings um it started off with this is my charity card and i'm kind of getting that your week started off is going to start off with you beginning to understand that charity 
isn't about corporate charity. You are finally getting that charity is a smile, a conversation, a kind word, a kind gesture. Um, it doesn't have to be all cloak and daggers and this corporate shit where people are getting away, literally getting away with murder. Um, but I am getting that there is an essence around you where you are really fucked off. Honestly, be kinder to yourself. Um, understand that with the charity card, this is giving and taking with dignity and grace. This is about you beginning to understand that if you've been giving, it's your turn to take and vice versa. Um, but my God, you're fucked off with somebody. Um, you are so fed up with looking at the same three chalices. And it's almost like a chalice. Now, keep in mind that I say about um, your chalices, this could be any type of love. This could be the love of parents. It could be the love of children. It could be the love of whoever. And it's almost like somebody came to the door but didn't come across the threshold. And it's made you a bit hacked off. It has. Now, it could be a lover. But I'm getting it more of an essence that it was a brother or a sister. And you was really expecting and really looking forward to seeing them. And something got in the way. Now, remember what I say about family. Family are the people you choose that you want around you that have got benefits for each other rather than blood related blood, blood relations that can drive you do lally. Darlings be a little bit kinder to yourself be kinder about what happened in that situation because not far away from you after you feel like you're a bit pissed off that this person didn't come across the threshold a block with the page of wands is coming in now this could be in the shape of a person that's younger than you that is just going to show you how to magically move that block out of the way Simple as that. And right in behind that page, in comes the Queen of Wands. Male or female. She's got that wand upright because she is going to use it. Armed and dangerous is the Queen of Wands. She knows that whatever she makes a wish on, she's going to get. It's her birthright. She just goes and gets it. Um, she can be a bit ruthless. Um... But I'm getting that this is your energy. You just go and get what you want. If you need a contract, you go and get a contract. If you need a new job, you just go and get a new job. If you um, have got a passion or a desire around a project or a plan, you make it happen. You don't see the blocks. You just get pissed off with the actions. So just know this person didn't intend not to come across the threshold it whatever happened stopping them from coming towards you there was a really good reason for it so just be a little bit more charitable a little bit more kind to yourself and a little bit kinder to the person that didn't quite make it across your threshold they didn't intend for that to happen but there is going to be a block is going to be undone it's going to move magically out of the way and it could involve a, young, a person younger than you. But you're going to stand in this beautiful queen energy and you are just going to make happen what you want to make happen. Simple as that. Facing your fears and taking your power back. You've got the three of pentacles. This is the collaboration card. This is um, hearing information that's coming from surprising sources. So you have got the pupil becoming the tutor, the tutor becoming the pupil. This is like a switching of roles. This is the coming together of roles. This is kind of sharing knowledge and information, intuition, all that sort of stuff. Um, until you make things happen for yourself. Now you've got three standing stones semi-protecting you. You've got pentacles on them. Um, you've got the stalk that's standing there and you've got these two people exchanging a musical instrument, a harp. Let your heart sing, darlings, around this. 
facing your fear i'm kind of getting that your fear is hearing the wrong wrong information the information you don't want to wear um taking your power back is allowing that information to come in and be given to you in a way that can't be denied so you know sometimes we're given information and we interpret it and it turns out to be wrong um i'm kind of getting that you are going to be given some information but you are not going to be able to miss it be able to misinterpret it because it is going to be rock solid so this information when it comes from a younger person it seems surprising because they just seem to have old head on young shoulders and if it's an older person that's doing this information i use this analogy all the time with this card it's like they've got a saying and they say it and say it and say it and you're like oh they're doing this to death aren't they and then all of a sudden you kind of like go oh that's what that means i'm sorry darling she's driving me up the wall i've got to let her out come on you yeah it's like an aha moment you know this saying has driven you up the wall and then all of a sudden it's like um for years i heard people going i'm sick and tired i'm sick and tired of what's happening i'm sick and tired of this i'm sick and tired of that and it wasn't until my son was growing up and i was pushing peas uphill with my nose trying to get him diagnosed trying to get the right education for him trying to get the support for him that he needed to be successful and one day I sat down and I said, I am just so sick and tired of this. And the penny dropped. Oh my God, that's where that saying comes from. You are just fucking exhausted. And that could be the same for you, where you've been so disappointed, you could have been exhausted. But do not ignore the limitless possibilities that are coming your way. It is going to open up. These blocks are going to magically move out of the way. The information is there for you if you if you want to take it. So your manifestation, your wish fulfillment, and why it may be fact's not fact. Um, this is the green man. And I'm getting that you want to accept this. You want to take this bloody leap of faith. The green man, like the fall, he just goes from um, one event to another. Uh, because he's got no consequences he's never had any consequences he hasn't seen um anything negative in his life it's like a baby when they um are little and they first get up and they start to toddle and they've got their hands in everything they don't know a fire's gonna burn you can say burning as much as you like but until they experience burning their fingers you know they're gonna go oh that's an ouchie yeah yes it's burning um until you experience those things you don't you don't put the two and two together so darlings in your manifestation you've got this leap of faith card um you are manifesting taking a leap of faith around what you don't know lovelies get that into your real life get it in get it out of manifestation and start actioning it what is it that you need to take a leap of faith over is it how you feel is it how you reacted is it the magical stuff moving out of the way or is it that you just know that you can go and get what you want? Take note of that. Write it down what it is that you want to do. Because on your movement, on your journey, it's like you are finishing an apprenticeship. You are finishing an apprenticeship. You have got these beautiful tools all hanging up and now you're adding the final bit of magic to what it is that you've learned the final bit of magic the final piece in the jigsaw to make these limitless possibilities happen for you what you can do about the situation darling if you've got more than one choice you haven't got your answer you haven't got your answer this is the eight chalices he's scratching his chin because he, he's a bit confused about where he's going what what his choices are does he does he pick the grapes that are there or does he move on to something else 
if you have got more than one choice you haven't got your answer it's as simple as that it is as plain as the nose on your face if you have an answer there are no more choices to make if you keep having choices you haven't got your answer darlings you haven't so just be aware that you may need to be a little bit more patient and wait for the answer to come in towards you now what is out of your hands what the universe is working on what the universe is working with you on is stop being so focused on your destination which is the sun in the distance they're saying you are missing so much when you are so focused on one destination and you are not enjoying the journey. Um, the universe is giving you some bloody lessons about that, I can tell you. They want you to slow down. They want you to slow down and absorb the journey. Now, I'm kind of getting for you that maybe this was a journey at the beginning that you was expecting to end with this person visiting you, coming towards you, and it didn't happen. But the blocks have been moved. You know you can go and get what it is that you want. You've got the collaboration card here. There could be other people that you're working with on this. But if there is a choice to be made, you haven't got the answer yet. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy finding the answer. Look at your options. It's not just the sun. There are other things going on. You will miss out on so much if you don't slow down and just enjoy this journey. It's almost like they're saying to you, look, here's the queen. That's you. You're standing there in the queen energy knowing that you can have whatever you want. Now go back into your form formative years, teenage years, early 20s. And just enjoy the journey. No matter how old you are, stop, slow down and enjoy this journey. Now, reconnecting to your true self, Leo, you're magical. You are. You, you've got so many abilities, so many fingers in so many pies. You absolutely do believe that you can draw energy down from the moon, the god or the goddess. I'm going to say both because I'm getting a feeling that that some people out there have got a different divine to me. Um, this is a magical kitchen. This isn't the kitchen you've got at home. This isn't something that is sort of like just conjured up in your, in your kitchen. This is your magical kitchen. This is you having that spiritual journey, that you, your own spiritual experience, and this is how it's kitted out. This is how it's kitted out. So... You allow the faith folk to add extra magic. You've got candles and light. There's lavender for remembrance. You've just got so much going on magically. Um, and what they're saying to you is tap into that magical kitchen. You know where it is. You know just by the limitless possibilities. You know that it's there. You just need to tap into it. So lovely is the outcome. You have the standing stone. This is natural justice at its best. It's being served. Whoever's wronged you, will be, it will be righted. Whoever's righted you, that will come to light. It's, it's kind of like just natural justice being served up at its best. The scales are in balance. You've got the harm none. You have got the um, labyrinth that is clear for you to move around. Now, when I see the harm none sign, I have to say, I'm tempted to say this same, but I'm going to say it where you are concerned. And that is harm none, but take no shit. Because there is natural justice being served up for an absolute reason. At the bottom of the deck, what is being hidden from you currently that will come to pass, and that is the Six of Wands. This is my accolade card. You are doing something with friends, family and community that is going to bring you some accolades, some celebrations with those people that you are nearest and dearest to. It is also the attraction card. So, strangers, 
acquaintances, friends, they will want to be around you because your light is shining that much brighter and that much differently. Um, the, the attraction, the attractor factor, as Dr. Joe says, um, is definitely yours for the taking. Now, if you are looking for a love partnership, I have to say that is going to be a time to open yourself up because you're opening up with acquaintances with strangers and that sort of thing so yeah just be aware of that the whispering woods have given us hope what on earth does that say have i got glasses in my eye thank god for that i'm looking at it thinking i can't read that first word hope an idea, I don't know what I was thinking that was, like a single acorn can start a wondrous forest, that is lovely, and retreat, spoil yourself in the morning mist, breathe in nature's sweet scents, I love that card because I think that is so um, apt for what it is that you are going through Leo. I am not seeing that person permanently staying away from you. I'm not. Can I have some knowledge, wisdom and guidance? Thank you. For Leo, please. So, my darlings, your first card that came out was Traveller, move in a new direction. Your second card, funnily enough, White Witch, be the light. What was I saying about your accolade? Your inner light will change, your aura will change um, for the better and what it will just be so attractive to other people. You will, you will be meeting new people, new friends, new acquaintances fire guardian ignite your passions there's a thing for a fire sign leo wherever you are in the world darlings please be safe and i'll catch you in the next reading bye for now